Hey, what's up you guys? Happy February. Apologies for the kind of dark atmosphere going on. It's a dark and dreary day here in England, but what else is new this winter? It's like this every day. But today is a special day because we are holding my two, possibly three, if I'm feeling a little bit a little bit spicy and I want to spice up the month. My three pulls from my Daddy Wrath TBR jar of hell. These are all books from 2022. I haven't added any of my new books from my upcoming book haul. There's 30 of them at least. There might be more books in that book haul that's coming out this coming week. I'm just... I feel like if I put in new books, then I won't read the books that I made this TBR jar for, you know? Like I really should just be focusing on my backlist books, the books that I already own and I'm not like buying. So anyway, I'm rambling. Let's pull the two, possibly three. I have to pull at least two books from my TBR jar here in February. Now, I'm just like a little bit nervous because I have some big projects planned for February, including starting Outlander. So stay tuned because I wanna do a like community kind of project video series episode situation with reading and with watching the episodes and I'm just <laughs> Outlander, you know? I just, I wanna, I wanna do it. So I'm just a little bit anxious that if I pull some big books, cause if I wanna read Outlander plus Tower of Dawn plus some other <laughs> really big, every book I want to read is a tome, okay? Every book I want to read is like 500 plus pages. Anyway, um, if I want to read those three books, then I need to pull something that's a little bit light. So let's just like mix them up a bit. And you know how I am, I cheat. So I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to hold myself accountable and show you straight away. We're going to go right in the middle and pull something in the middle, okay? Okay, God, I'm nervous. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. <gasps> ah, castles in their bones. Okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. Can you see that? Castles in their bones. I have had this on my TBR for like five months. <laughs> it sat on my bedside table and I haven't read it yet. So she's gonna stay there and we're going to read it and i might buddy read this with someone off of instagram so pierre if you're watching february is the month for us to do that okay off to a good start because i kind of planned on reading that anyway also this february i am going to budapest for the week of valentine's my husband booked us a very romantic trip. I've never been to Hungary before. I never thought I would get the chance to go to Budapest. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. So I don't know how much reading I'm gonna do, but I will vlog it for you if you'd like, if you want to know what it's like in Budapest in February. Okay, second poll. Can you see it? All right, it says, the bird and the blade. This is another good one, okay. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about this. Do we pull three? We might as well because there are only 52 weeks in the year and there are only 12 months. And if I only pull two out each month, then it's only 24 books. And I have 245 plus, 245 in this jar plus the 30 I have to haul. <laughs> so, well, not technically because some of the books I'm hauling are like special editions of books I already know. Okay, anyway. Number three. Okay. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm looking. I'm looking. <laughs> I need to not look. Should we go for an outside one? Let's go for one on the edges. Okay. Do you see what it says? It says... It says, um, the Fellowship of the Ring, Lord of the Rings. I wrote fellowship down because I couldn't remember what the actual title was. Right. This means it's time. This means it's time. I've had this on my TBR for three years since I started my bookstagram account, which kind of led to YouTube and, you know, my whole book blogging journey. And I haven't read it, although the photos I've taken for it on Instagram are some of my favorites I've ever taken. I love this and Christian and I, my husband are currently re-watching the movies. We watch them like twice a year and we are on the third movie. 
you know what he asked me for? I've like got him into being a nerd. He wasn't a nerd. He was like an MMA fighting soccer player, sports fan kind of guy. And now he asked me for the last week, including last night to get him Aragorn's sword, which is like 300 pounds. I'm like, what are we gonna do with this? He's like, we'll just hang it on the wall. Okay, okay, this Hobbit court might be coming in February. Right, let's grab these books and chat through them. God, it really is dark in here. <laughs> Jeez, I'm gonna need to get a ring light or something and be a proper YouTuber at some point. Anyway, book one, Castles in Their Bones by Laura Sebastian. I've not read anything else by this author. I know that she has been very popular throughout booktube and Instagram for the last like 10 years or so. But Laura Sebastian wrote Castles in Their Bones and the sequel is coming out soon i think in the spring i'll pop the cover up on the screen right now looks really pretty i really like these covers this is about an empress who has three triplets uh sophriana sophronia 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 yeah daphne and beatrice and i did start reading this i got to page 30 before i put it down because you know my mind's chaotic but she sends out her three daughters to marry the kings and princes of neighboring realms and her goal is to have her daughters undermine their husbands and their loves and essentially take over the kingdom so she ends up conquering uh, a vast majority of the world and that's the whole plot i love the map this is a very political based fantasy with a lot of romance and um when i was reading it there were three points of view so it was a little bit confusing for me in the beginning but maybe my mind just wasn't in it so i am excited about reading this one and then the next one we have to talk about is the bird in the blade by megan bannon okay so the bird in the blade is a book that i briefly touched base on in a video i put out this fall link it up above about historical based fantasy books that i wanted to read and this is a fantasy set in the Mongolian Empire, which is fascinating. I've never read a book set there. And it also has some influence from an Italian opera, which name is escaping my mind, so I'll pop it up on the screen. But this is a forbidden romance, enemies to lovers situation with princesses and princes and all of the political conflicts going on in the Mongolian Empire at that time. I believe that this is a standalone, which is pretty cool and it is just over 400 pages 416 pages so i'm excited about this this is three impossible riddles one dangerous secret so i will let you know if this is something you should check out i've never heard anyone talk about this book so hopefully it's something that we can get hyped up about so those are my first two and then because i was feeling ballsy i pulled three but i'm not mad about it because the rule of this tbr jar each month is that i have to read the first book in the series and i do think that i should read the hobbit first which is shorter <laughs> so yes hobbit core is coming this follows bilbo baggins and his journey to battle a dragon and the quest that follows i did like the movies but they were a little bit more fantastical in like their style than it was kind of hardcore you know what i mean for instance if you look at legolas and compare him in the hobbit trilogy compared to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. They just kind of look different. So they're not my favorite movies, but we will do a movie watching party of some kind. And The Hobbit will start us on our Tolkien journey. I don't know when I will put out my Lord of the Rings vlogs, but we're starting in February, so exciting. Okay, that's it for me today, you guys. Please let me know what you're reading in February. Obviously, this is not my full TBR because I'm am a mood reader and the tbr jar is just this new thing i'm trying out in 2023 to push me to read backlist books and read the books that i have bought <laughs> and paid for on my shelf so if you want to see what else i end up reading in the month hit that like and subscribe button follow me on instagram and tiktok and goodreads i'm always uh on instagram especially and goodreads i'm updating every day and if you want to see what i end up reading then stay tuned because i have vlogs coming out i have some video projects like i said revolving around outlander oh, i'm very excited so anyway have a great rest of your day and i hope you have a fantastic reading month in february and i will see you very soon bye